uh, here's the sequence once again. Uh, there are basically three ways that hydrocarbons can come up through a blowout preventer, either the one that's there or the capping stack that we put on, which is, in effect, a smaller version of a blowout preventer. Uh, the, the kill and the choke lines, and then the main bore up through the, uh, the preventer itself. We now have a capping stack on top of that. So there are five ways that you could potentially release oil. The kill and the choke line from the original blowout preventer, the kill and the choke lines from the capping stack, and then the top of the capping stack itself. Uh, what we will do in sequence is we will stop production on the Q4000 and the Helix Producer 1 and remove the way for the hydrocarbons to exit through the kill and the choke lines of the original blowout preventer. That will move to three exit points, the choke and the kill lines of the capping stack and then the top opening of the capping stack. Then we will in sequence first. There are three rams are a part of the uh, capping stack. The middle ram will be closed. That will seal the upper opening from any hydrocarbon release. That will leave us the kill and the choke lines. The kill line will then be closed as well. And remember, this is either open or shut. That will leave the choke line of the capping stack as the last way for hydrocarbons to exit from the capping stack. And that is set up with a specially uh, designed, engineered, and built. You'll be able to see it on the video. It's a horizontal yellow a uh, piece of equipment that has a pipe that curves up where the hydrocarbons would exit. And at the other end, there's a place to insert a tool with the remotely operated vehicle and then slowly close the valve, which we will do that while we're taking pressure readings. Next question.